Okay. So, hi guys. Carol here. Today, I want to make a very quick update of my phantom pets. Okay. They're still here. Yes, they are. But the thing is, I talked to a few people and like some are like, oh my God, you have to get rid of them right away. They're demons. So I, they were starting to freak me out. And uh, there's one that was telling me everything that I have to do, you know, Catholic prayers and Muslim prayers and all that shit, you know. <laughs> well, maybe you don't know. So, you know, I had my mirrors cleaned with salt water. No, that wasn't salt water. I have to put a glass with salt water and a candle behind it. Something like that to attract the demons and so that the demons get stuck into the salty water. Ooh. And uh, I had to wash all the mirrors with um, water that had been blessed. So I had to bless the water in the name of God that gives me the power to bless my water. Okay, so um, I actually really freaked out at some point. I was scared. I asked someone to come and sleep at my house one night because I was really freaking out that I was scared because, and I was scared because it's what people were telling me that made me scared. But in fact, the animals that are here aren't scaring. You know, they really seem to be pets that I've had in my life. Uh, so, you know, I told you there was one that was giving me problems. Well, she's still there, but I fixed it. And believe it or not, I fixed her problem by treating her like a real dog. I used, um, you know, a very annoying sound to make her stop what she was doing. No, you're not going to know. <laughs> but she had to stop. And so I, I, I came to the conclusion that if I'm scared, then they're going to be demons. But if I'm not scared and I'm into love, respect, and friendship and all, then they're just spirits. Spirits that came with my baby. You know, when I called Leah, well, <laughs> she came with friends. <laughs> they all decided to come. Probably because they sensed that I was going to be able to feel them with my hands. So because I stopped for maybe a week to feel them, I feel them a little less now, but it's very easy to get it back. You know, like, let's say I'm talking to uh, a certain pet, or I think it's that pet, and I'm going to say, okay, show me your whiskers. So show me your whiskers. And then I, 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 I go like this, you know, I try to feel for whiskers and then oh, just by the, the muzzle or you know, what I feel I can tell which dog it is. Um, so just like the last time, I think I told you, 
I can feel their whiskers, their wet nose sometimes, you know, just a little touch. I can feel when they give me a kiss, they lick me. They can lick me. Uh, like I have a little rat, which is so cute because he used to lick underneath my nails. And that's what he's doing. So that's how come I can recognize him and I can feel his little paws. So call me crazy. But here's my number. Call me, baby. No, okay, that's not it. Okay, so uh, that, that's it for today. You know, I just decided that I was going to live with them. Um, learn learn to live with them and try to see them and feel them more and especially try to understand them you know the animal communication that's pretty much it okay so I'll, I'll keep you up to date and like I said it's really hard to do videos because I can't just record them live because you, YouTube wants me to have, I don't know, such and such amount of uh, subscribers. So please subscribe. <laughs> That's going to help me out. Because if I could do it live, I, I love doing live videos. And it makes it a lot easier. I can do some more often. So I'm going to repeat it again. If you like that video and would like to know more about me and all the things I do in my life and whatever, well, don't forget to subscribe. It's important. And also hit that little notify notification button. That way you're going to know every time that I make a new video. Yay! See you soon!